In this tutorial, I'm going to look at the general method of auto retopologizing uh, a ZBrush model in 3D Coat. So, first of all, go import for auto topo and then just get your OBJ file. Now, the intermediate resolution, this is what it's going to take it down to. So, if it's like a million polys, this is what it will drop it down to. The approximate poly count, that's our target. What do we want? How many thousands of polygons do we want in our final thing? This is just a pair of trousers, so one and a half thousand will do. The additional smoothing is if you've got a choppy mesh, but we're going to set it to zero because our mesh is relatively smooth. So here's my trousers. Uh, I'm going to paint this tool for density. Now this is, should you have hands or feet or face where you want extra um, polygons to go into these areas, you can paint them. Use the right mouse button and drag up. This gives the strength. And so as you paint, you'll see you basically paint what is effectively a mask. In that area, had I left it, there would have been um, double the topology. Okay, the next menu you get um, is for us to build some lines. So first of all, I'm going to turn on symmetry. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some strokes. Now by starting off the mesh and stroking across, you can see it cuts and basically makes like a, a circular loop right through the mesh. When drawing on the mesh, uh, if we start with it on the mesh, then you can actually draw guidelines down, which I'll do here from the hip down to the ankle. And this gives a guide for where we want the polys to work, thinking about deformation in the final animated piece. So building some lines in. The other thing I want to do is I want to avoid polygons sort of straddling sharp corners. So again, by building some um, actual curves into these areas, it will make sure that the edges of the polys adhere to this. Once we've drawn the lines, we can edit them. Moving over a point on there, it will turn to like a golf ball, which you can then drag and move. If you draw a separate piece of line, which I'll do here on the back of the trouser. Draw separately. And once I've finished drawing, I can then take my golf ball, move it to the end of the next line, and it will snap. It will make it into one smooth ring. So I'll close this ring off by dragging around, letting it will snap on, and then taking the other end, once I've just detailed this up, and snapping, and now we have a closed loop. So my actual mesh was uh, decimated from ZBrush. And it was only about 50 or 60,000, but obviously it was a mess. So this is really not so much about making a simpler mesh, but about cleaning up the topology ready for animation. OK, here it is with the auto retopologization. Easy for me to say. I'm just going to tidy up a few areas where it's pinching, and I'm just going to seems to be a few glitches where it's not mirrored successfully. So I'm going to use the symmetry plane to make sure everything is mirrored. Now moving this onto the edge of the trouser leg, I'm noticing it's actually going into a spiral. Let's select the edge and see how bad that is. There's a spiral is right up the leg. So I'll delete that and also select those faces and delete those as well. So it's actually the only body that we've retopologized. Okay, using the strokes again, just in the same way as before, Starting off the mesh, it will build the lines around there, and then stroking down gives it a guide. Pressing enter fills it with the number we set in the number of segments at the top. OK, I'm going to split the rings, just so we've got more like the number matching up the top. And then using points and faces and right clicking, as you see we move around, we get the blue guide that shows us what we're going to be building. And then if we were to right click, it would place the poly. Deleting that edge there and then right clicking. I'm going to split the ring just to make sure they're more matching up and then building in a few more quads as we go around and just moving points by using the right mouse button just to square up certain areas. Delete that ring and fill. Spreading out the vertices as you move on 3D coat, the vertices always remain snapped to the surface, which they don't do in ZBrush, which is why we use this rather than ZBrush for retopologizing. Okay, deleting some of the vertices now in the uh, in the knee area. 
Now what I want to do here is have two rows of edge loops in front of the knee to only one at the back. This will really help when deforming the knee in animation later. So using points and faces, first of all I create diamonds at the edges and then building in the quads above and below. This will give us two rows where originally we only had one. So with a combination of split rings and points and faces, I'm just going to build this back into place using split rings now and then back to the uh, points and faces will allow me to fill those gaps nicely. Now I'm just going to use the right mouse button to move the points around and smooth them out. But I'll also use the relax mesh which is over on the left hand side at the bottom there, relax. and That will just smooth things out a little bit. Pulling the faces down and dividing them allows us to build some more topology in there. Now a quick way of going around a corner is just to actually drag it in, cutting the corner off as I'm doing here and then using split rings and it will snap to the surface, snap, snap and then deleting the rings that brought it there. So that's quite a quick way of getting around corners like that. Using points and faces I'm just going to fill the bottom of the trouser leg, it doesn't have to be neat down there because it's never going to be seen, just smoothing it out. And now we pretty much have it. Delete a few unnecessary loops, build in two loops close to each other to give us some sharp topology and there we have it. Pressing this icon here will actually mirror the mesh and then I can turn off symmetry. Now I'll just export our model and it's ready to go into our program that we can use such as 3D Studio Max to animate the legs. Hope you found this useful.